I want to get back to the passaggio. So as we strengthen the passaggio and we add a little more weight and a little more weight and a little more weight. Now here's something that we really didn't get a chance to discuss in the videos and I want to discuss now. As you get really, really good at this, and this isn't your first six months really, really good, and I'm going to ask you not to try this early or it's not going to be effective. Just note it and then use it later. Your vowel transitions or your vowel modifications will change. As you go through the passaggio, you no longer will transition your vowel. So, ah, ah, uh, ooh, and all that stuff that's in the videos. That is actually going to shift much higher. In fact, when you get really, really good at it, for the male tenor, those vowel transitions will kind of start over again. They'll never be as closed as ah, but they'll be ah, ah, uh, ooh or e, 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 e for the e vowel or for u, true, u, o, u, o, u, o. And they'll actually start working their way into the female soprano range. You heard me right. They will actually transition into the female soprano range and you'll start to transition those vowels in their range and all of the vowels that you've been working on in your call register or your chest belting register will shift into the female soprano range and you'll reuse them and that's in fact one of the reasons too why I supplied both the male and female versions of, of the workouts so that once you get really high you can start to transfer and, 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 and have these vowel modifications once you get really good at this don't do this too early guys please don't do this too early grow your voice be okay with this first once you build the strength for this then those vowel transitions will double up on themselves and you can reset them or redo them as you go up top okay